Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. Last video I will show you parent sites need to show his students like a this is the my students. So in this video we can do like whatever student login. So he need to see his subjects because we have already provided like his class. Suppose you are creating a student, so we are provided like a class. Suppose I came in the add new students, so you can see it here provide a class. So this class again we have assigned some subject like I can go to assign subject so you can see it here class names add new assign subject so you can see it suppose you need to choose the class after you need to assign some subject suppose this is the students okay this is the student like uh, this is the ID number is a 40 this student is a class name the SS1 so I select here SS1 I will assign four classes so SS1 means this is the student SS1 so he's a he's a subject like a four subject so let's click on the submit so you can see it here like uh, he's already there here you can see it like uh, SS1 this subjects SS1 this subject basic biology basic technologies but you, you can see it now okay now we need to log in as a student account and this student account we need to show like that uh, this is the class whatever subject assigned so is a four subject assigned so we need to show you the four subjects so let's log in for this students just edit so because i don't know what is the password just edit and i will change his password one two three four five six okay i just copy the email i click on the update now i log out and i add these passwords one two three four five six I click on the sign buttons so I log in now we are did like my account change password now we can do here my subject so let's back to code again go to resources views inside go to layout inside go to headers and let's make zoom says zoom out go down Role type is equal to three because this is the two means teachers three. So I just copy and I put here and just I change to my subject. And also we can do here my subjects. So is because we need to make active classes. This is the we have right inside segment my subjects. So let's go to back again, refresh the page. So you can see it, my subjects. I click on the my subject buttons, means yes, I click on the my subject menu. So is route not found. So let's create for this route. Just go to routes, instead go to web, instead go to like uh, student controllers, means student middleware, because role wise works. So just make here my subjects. We have to change to my subjects. We can redirect to subject control because we are already here subject controller. I can show you here. You can see it here. Okay. So just go back again. Now I go to subject controller. Just right click and go to definition. Otherwise, you can to go so app HTTP controller inside subject controller. Okay. Let's go down and just you can type here student part because here we can write a student logic here functions my subjects and we can show here let's make copy one file i think we can copy this listing file and i put here and here you can change admin to student and here you can change my subject so you just need to go to resources inside go to students inside you need to create a new file my subject blade.php okay i think goods and here you can change title my subject okay i think it's goods let's back to code and refresh the page okay still not found what is the issue okay i have not saved this file this reasons Go back again, I the page. Uh, 
good just taking time I think okay this is the file to do inside my subject not found because of the okay I made a mistake about spelling so just change this spelling below dot php okay I'll go back again add a fifty page so you can see blank file found just need to go admin inside student not not a student inside good subject inside click on the list just copy and put here I just close I open again okay so I can remove some part because search filter we don't need I just remove we don't need like add new remove I change to my subject and also we don't need this the parts also we don't need a page because we are not need page notions we have subject type status we don't need create date we don't need action we don't need let's remove we don't need this one also okay here let's change to my subject so you can see it here code first of all we did a extend layouts and after we can put like a all the code. Let's back to websites and refresh the page. So you can see it. My subject here, subject name and subject type. Okay. So whatever this teacher means, this students, whatever class they are, this class against, we need to find out here subjects. So let's go to back again. So we need to remove this query. We don't need any more this query. Just go back up and let's first go to database so I can show you. Okay. Here we have did class subject is a one table. So this table again you can see it here. Whatever my class ID there, so I can make query here where my class ID means the one class ID. One class ID against what's the class subject? This is the we need to show. And also he's like the active zero means active, and is delete means a zero. It's not deleted. Zero means not deleted. And one means deleted. So let's make a query first. So we can go here like class subject controller. Just copy class subject model and declare here. Okay. Now go down and here change class subject model. And here you can do get and click means write on my subjects. Change the function in my subjects. I go to insights and I will create a new function here. My subjects like a static. Functions, my subjects. Let's go up and just copy all the code here, there, and put here. And also, you can copy this one also. Just put here. After I can explain everything, you don't need a pagination, so just remove the pagination. Okay. Now you can see it here, like all subject we can found here. Subject, class subject data inset. Class means class name. Subject dot name is equal to subject name. We don't need a class name because we know our class. Okay. And after user means category by name. Like who is a created by? We don't need also this name. Okay. And also we can make like here another query. Status is equal to equal to zero. So we know. Okay. So first of all, this is the table. This table inside you can go. So use a class ID. So class ID again. We have made a like a Join query inside class table. Also, you can see it here subject ID. So subject ID again, we have made a join query inside class subjects means a subject table inside. You can see it. And also you have found like created by who is it created. So this is the also made a join query like users users dot ID class subject dot created by. And also we have made like two where query like each delete is equal to zero and status is equal to zero means a not deleted and is a active. And we have made a order by ID is equal to DAC means the latest one going to first. Okay, so just make a returns. Okay, now we need to put here my class only subject found. So just go to back again to subject controller. You just need to pass here db. I can show you first or users and class id. This is the you are logging as a user, so you know your class id inside user table. So I can show you. I go to user tables. So you can go to last time, I think. One minute, I search class ID. Where is the okay? You can see it here class ID. 
so you are working as a student so you can see it your uh, class id 1 2 3 4 2 2 whatever you assign means you whatever class selected by admin this is the you can see it inside database so let's back again and i refresh the page so you can see it one means the one is a, your class id and what is the is showing the where is the print so is the line number is 77 suppose you can go here jump jump control you can see it 77 we have made a dd here okay so this class id you need to pass here So this is the argument means that this is the like a, one type of like a we have passed like argument here so we need to put here parameter not argument parameter we have passed inside function one parameter like a class id and we have declared here class id so just need to make one query class subjects that class subject dot class id is equal to dollar class id so we are getting only data for whatever user there is a class id this is the subject we can get here okay so let's try let's start now let's go to subjects that reports go to like let's close some other file we don't need now otherwise you need the confusions okay so just back here and here you can start your code for each get reports as a dollar page and for each CR inside you can type as TD here you need to show the subject name so this is our subject name subject dot name so we have already created one alias as a subject name just put here let's go to back then refresh the page syntax error oh, okay because we have made a semicolon here just remove the semicolon we don't need any place semicolon semicolon i just back again i will paste the page again so you can see it subject name my subject inside you can see it like english basic basic science and technology and science you can see it here so we also need to show is a subject type suppose because i have not logged out this is then you can see it suppose i, I can go to subject so is a 100 percent log out so let's open private windows i close this one local host schools.com i click on the admin at the red gmail.com now i log in so let's go to sub students not sorry go to subjects so this is the subject types so this subject type type we also need to show in a student side here okay so let's go to database uh, let's go to subject so you can see subject type so i copy this column name now i go to back again models model inside you can see my subject because we already call here this function inside you can find this one argument class id so just you can put like a here subject dot type as a subject type so this one also you can show here Okay, I go back again. I just copy and I put here. I let surface the page so you can see it. Every subject type is a theory, and subject name also you can see it. So, student know about he is a subject. This reason we have made a like a listing. Uh, sorry, I click wrong, change passwords. So, in this video, I have explained how to show my subject in student side and the next video i can show you how to show subject in parent side suppose this is the parents okay i go to parents i log in this parent and i can change the password of one two three four five six yes okay i now log out and i should add one two three four five six So I go to my students. So my student inside we need to put here another action button my subject. So whatever class assigned either this is the class SS1. So here you can see it, my subject for this student means sons daughter whatever you can see for this parents account. So
so we can add here my subject so whatever subject there for this student this subject you can find out after this is our student whatever subject there you can find out and also last one so next video i will show you like this and do you want to like this video so please like do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe and thank you for watching